Welcome to the Fast Fix channel, everyone. My name is Jason, and today we're looking at a Briggs & Stratton equipped lawn tractor that won't turn over any longer. And we've verified the battery is okay, the starter is okay, but the engine just won't spin. So basically, on these Briggs & Stratton engines, there is a valve release system that's built into the camshaft that relieves a bit of compression pressure, allowing the starter to turn the engine over. Now, if that mechanism fails, the engine simply will freeze. Your starter does not have enough power to crank it over. So these parts fail, and they fail often in my experience. This is the second time this has happened to me. It's the end of the season, and we really don't have time to take the engine off and replace the camshaft. So I wanna show you a quick way to start these engines in case that happens to you. First, let's take a look and see what it sounds like when the engine won't turn over. Let's give this a test. This is a very common symptom of the compression relief mechanism failing. You can see the engine just turns over a slight amount, but the starter does not have enough power to turn it over and start. Before we start this motor, I want you guys to keep something in mind. If your compression relief mechanism has failed, likely there are metal pieces inside the engine right now, and that could cause damage to your rotating assembly. I've told you uh, earlier in this video that this happened to this tractor before. I actually ran it for two months that way, not knowing that there were metal pieces in the motor, but once I took it apart, I found them. Now they were all uh, fairly large and they're sitting at the bottom of the sump and not causing any uh, damage to the motor itself. But if you're not feeling comfortable starting your engine with um, metal pieces in it, which is completely a rational thought of yours, then don't do it. Uh, take your motor off, replace the cam, do it the right way. I'll link a video at the end that shows me uh, to performing that fix on this very engine and you can show step by step uh, how to get that done. But for my intent and purposes of this video, I need to get this thing going. So we're gonna go ahead and start it. Metal pieces in the motor, be darned. All right, let's go. First thing we need to do is take our cover off here. So if you've got a light connected, just disconnect that, unhook and remove. Next thing we need to do is remove the spark plug. So take off your spark plug wire and remove the plug. All right, now we need to get our piston to top dead center on the compression stroke. So what we're gonna do is simply spin the engine. So we can do that pretty easily by hand. We'll take our other hand, put our thumb over the spark plug hole. And we're gonna feel for compression building up inside the cylinder. And I feel it right now. You can listen to air escaping, listen to this. Hear that? So basically what we wanna do is spin the engine to the point to where we're not feeling any more compression on our thumb and no air is escaping. And then we're right around top dead center, if not on top dead center. So that's where you want to place the piston in order to fire the motor. Because again, remember our problem is com too much compression. That uh, release mechanism failed, so we don't want any compression in the engine right now. We just wanna make sure that the piston is at top dead center, that way we have the best opportunity for the engine to fire. Now that the piston is near top dead center, we can reinstall our spark plug. Now we need to get to the carburetor, so remove any cover you have that gives you access to the air intake, the filter right here. Place that aside, we'll simply remove our filter, like that. Now for the fun part, let's add a little bit of engine starting fluid. I usually do two to three squirts right into the air intake tube. Now make sure your engine is on full choke and turn it over. So as you saw, she fired up right away. I would say the starting fluid isn't 100% necessary, but it will give you the best opportunity to get the engine started on the first try. Whereas if you didn't use it, you might do that process two or three times. But hey, if this video helped you, please help me and hit like and subscribe. It makes all the difference in the world. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of the day.